Hey everybody, welcome back. So, <clears throat> in today's video, I want to, you know, try to at least get this out for the, at this point in the season, who is leading the M NBA MVP race, according to Sports Illustrated, and there's going to be like, a, there was like a roundtable discussion on it. So, let's dive into, dive right into it. So, most people will be thinking LeBron James... It, the people, only two guys that I remember that's going to be le is leading the way is, Le is LeBron James and Joel Embiid. Now let's take let's dig in a little bit further, shall we? And the staff for, uh, for the roundtable, Howard Beck, for example, he has picked LeBron James. His pick was LeBron James. I mean, you could definitely make an argument with J LeBron James. And you may, you may like him, you may hate him. I mean that's up for the people for the whoever does the awards to uh, to actually to do uh, pick out who the MVP is. Chris Mannix also picked LeBron James, so that's two people who vote who are picking LeBron James to win the MVP so far. Michael. Now Michael Pena's pick is kind of in, is kind of interesting. He picked Kawhi Leonard. Despite the fact that, yeah, the Clip, Clippers have been playing really good, but I don't think Kawhi Leonard's not going to win it based on what I've seen. Jeremy Wu, that he's in pick number three as LeBron picked LeBron James, so that's three people who pick LeBron James for MVP. Mark Bechtel picked Nikola Jokic from the Nikola Jokic, even though Denver doesn't have a better record than than most teams. And Michael Shapiro has picked obviously Joel Embiid, the, the, just by the way he's been playing so far. Robin Lund Lundberg has picked LeBron James, so that's four for LeBron James, one for Jokic, one for Kawhi Leonard, and one for Embiid. Now, could you make an argument? You could definitely make the argument because I feel like Jane is either going to come down to LeBron James or Joel Embiid. I mean, no disrespect to Jokic, but I don't think he's not at the top of... I mean, he's playing well, but I don't think he's playing well like LeBron or Joel Embiid. Now, if we go to basketball reference, like for point, points per game-wise... Or the actually no, I'm sorry. The probability of winning it, parent Jokic has has a higher probability percentage to win it, and then Embiid comes in a close second along with Kawhi Leonard. For me, I would see Embiid win it because, as a 76ers fan, we just we just we went through the process for the last like handful of years, and it really it, it we need to we need something to show for it because you know. I mean, the, having you know, bringing in Doc Rivers and the coaches that he's built around, and unlocking whatever he, or whatever he did to bring out the like the the, the high ceiling that we've been waiting for, for with Embiid for a while, like it really does. It comes to it's starting to come to fruition. Now, the only issue is with Embiid. I mean, I'm not, not you know, I'm kind of a little nitpicking. Is the is the injury? When I say it's not major injury concerns, it's kind of, it's kind of minor, mostly because it's like like last night against the I thought we almost lost against against the Pacers, but until you had to had to bring had guys like Corkmaz and Matisse Thybulle to help bail you out in the fourth quarter. But I think, in my opinion, I think uh, Embiid is going. I think Embiid's going to win it because we're. Because we're, I'm kind of, as a Sixers fan, we kind of, we're, or we're Sixers fans in general. We're kind of, we're kind of like, we're basically really fed up with what the process. Well, he is the process. I mean, that's kind of what his nickname is. But we're kind of like fed up, you know, him kind of being overshadowed by MB or not Embiid, um, LeBron James and Nikola Jokic. James, I can understand because I mean. It's like a love. He's like one of those players you kind of you love, you love and you hate at the same time. Basically, I mean, I mean, I'm not gonna nit. 
well, when it comes to career wise, he has a. I mean, LeBron James has a, a good, a great career, a Hall of Fame career at that. But the way that he plays, he kind of he's a little bit petty with it. And now, if you know, like if you're gonna be, if you're a LeBron James fan, if you look, you can tell it in my comment section. Like, I will, I would love to hear what you have to say. I mean. I mean, look, I, I mean, I like LeBron James, but the way that he play, he's, I know he's a hard worker, but the kind of player that he is on the court is, he's kind of a little bit petty, especially when we play, played him, like, when, especially when we played him in the Lakers and, you know, get a, and that's the thing too, like, the NBA has, like, the, some bad officiating because the two-handed shove that LeBron has actually pulled against Embiid, you know, kind of made him land on his back a little bit. For me, I would have seen that as a flagrant too, you know, to get him out of the out of the game. But the officials called it a flagrant one, which that kind of I feel like that's kind of stupid, but it is what it is. Like but like I mean there's really nothing you can't argue about the career that LeBron has had. And now with MB, you know, playing better, you know, playing the best basketball in his career. And, <clears throat> and, you know, like, he, I mean, I mean, what I'm trying to say is it's like, it's, it's a close, it's a close MVP race, you know, at the, well, between Embiid and Jokic. You know, probability wise, I think Jokic has the little bit of a head start. But when it comes to like guys like Jokic, Embiid, Kawhi Leonard, LeBron James, hell, even I even like even Kurt, Kevin Durant, and still playing like at an MVP or a high level, basically. But it's like, you know, like. I mean, uh, with uh, us Philly sports, we're, we're for some reason we we get a lot of hate, and I don't. And for some reason, when it comes to like, to like guys, like certain players, like it feels like we're kind of like getting cut out of the like out of out of the different like categories. And when it comes to like, to like awards, like I'm really hoping NBA can win it. You know, it's we we kind of we had to go through a lot of suffering through the tanking process, or yeah. The, the tanking that we had to do to start the process by Sam, our former GM, Sam Hinkie. But yeah. And then I could also look at the other hand that LeBron could probably find a way to steal, steal the MVP, but only time will tell. So if you, if you like the content that I'm putting out so far, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, hit that notification bell and leave your thoughts and opinions in the comment section down below. I'll leave links to the articles and to Sports Illustrated and Basketball Reference. And then I'll leave my other like uh, links in the description as below. So thank you. Thank you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.